The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. This is the offices of Duke and Duke at 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay, folks, we're going to start out with the gold market today because uh, we were pretty strong in gold early this evening, uh, up about $10, $12. Uh, as you can see, over the last four or five days, uh, we've been in a downtrend that's been identified by the uh, trend line, which is, you know, related to those Fibonacci numbers uh, that we look at. And as you can see, we had a really nice Gartley at the early morning high this morning at around 12.36, uh, and we sold off about 12, 13 dollars from there. We really need to get above that 12.36 with a lot of gusto. Uh, in order to turn this market around. I don't think it's going to do it, and the reason for that is is that we have a situation in silver that looks really pathetic, folks. That market, uh, of course, that market always looks like that, and then all of a sudden it raises its head and away it goes. So what do I know? I'm just telling you that that's what it looks like, you know, from the, uh, the cheap seats here in uh, Tucson, Arizona. If we take a look at that long-term chart in gold, that we've looked at several times. You see, we hit the exact 61% retracement from the high in uh, April of 2014. So uh, that was absolutely spot on. That also happened to be a 78% retracement from the high in January of 2015. So we have those three lower tops in here. And long term, of course, silver has been in a bear market you know, for several years back in uh, was it 2012 is when we uh, when we hit that high at uh, 1932. So we want to watch that, folks. Um, one of the my, my favorite one of my favorite patterns. I've got a you know four five or six that I really like, but without a doubt, my favorite pattern happens to be the Gartley because that one you know, got me back to, you know, uh, to, to, to be a believable <laughs> in pattern recognition, you know, way back in uh, 1976. And I've, I've uh, learned to really enjoy it a great deal. And of course, now I think there's 36 different websites that feature, you know, the Gartley pattern. And each one of those websites, of course, is the own inventor of it. But the uh, Gartley pattern itself, it was called the Gartley 222 when I first wrote about it in 1975 uh, for a few Futures Magazine. Uh, then in the, when I did my first book in uh, 88, 87, 88, uh, of course, I, I had it in that book, and I wrote a few other articles about it. But we're going to just take a quick look. And I want to show you some numbers here because these, this is flat out scary, folks, what's going on uh, as of Friday. Uh, it, it's really after I, after I saw what happened Friday, I, I looked a little deeper, and then I got a little bit of a hint from a couple other people, and um, they gave me some some ideas and I just wanted to show you what's going on now as you can see in the transportation index uh, going back to the end of uh, 2014 when we made the uh, three drive to a uh, top pattern which was also the one two three four five expanding triangle pattern that was the t6 pattern uh, in Gartley's book and then uh, you can see the Gartley patterns that are there. There's been one, two, three, four, five, the last one completing on Friday. And each one of those was a, an absolute uh, incredible time, you know, to be a seller. And what Gartley said in that book on pages 200, 221 to 222, he spent two full pages describing this particular pattern. Nowhere in the book does he take two full pages to describe that pattern and that's why I, I named it after him 
Gartley 222 is because, uh, you know, he deserved to have the recognition of this pattern. Uh, as you can see, we have the big ABCD pattern that we had in the Dow Jones transportation. But the key here is the fact that we made a 50% retracement of the high from November. Uh, actually, it was November 30th. It was uh, when we turned down, the, the regular market turned down on December 30th when we, we came back after the holidays. But uh, the important thing from my perspective is the fact that the rally that we just had was a 38% rally of the whole move down from 2014. And if that's the best it can do, uh, we're in big trouble. And there's some other things that, that are a little scary here as we're going to go through some of them. And, you know, you do you decide. I'm just telling you what I see. You know, I, I'm pattern recognition. I'm, you know, no more, no less. I don't know diddly squat about the fundamentals and the price earnings ratio and none of that other stuff. But the, the lines on the charts, they look like dots. And if they don't be careful, they'll look like spots. Anyway, here's what we want to look at. The S&P. E mini daily. Look at the 20 minute line that we have coming in here. We have an ABCD uh, correction coming in exactly at the 50% retracement of the May 19th high. That was to the tick. Remember, we had Norwinsky on uh, that day and we had Mercury retrograde with the new moon, and he said this might be it. And sure enough, uh, you know, the fat lady was singing, the orchestra was playing, and that was it for the stock market. Uh, the NASDAQ didn't top until December 1st, which is not unusual because that happens more often than not. But uh, that's uh, one of the charts that we're, that we're watching. Now, the next one I wanted to look at, uh, I'm going to save that to last. Hold it. Let me move that over a little bit. I want to save it to last. We're going to do the NASDAQ next since we're talking about that, and we'll bring it up here and take a look at it. And uh, we're going to have Rich Anderson on the show tomorrow. And what we're showing right now is we're showing the uh, NASDAQ when it made its high up on uh, December the 1st. And as you can see, we came down and we uh, just went slightly lower than our August 24th bottom. And then over the past several weeks, two weeks to be exact, we rallied to an exact 50% retracement of the December uh, 1st high. So uh, that is also a very important uh, spot to look at. If you remember, you know, we were watching some of these things. We'll do the uh, E-mini first because it was indicative of what was happening in the market at the time. But on Friday, as you can remember, uh, we were looking at that uh, reverse point wave, that one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle. And we got up there to that 1968 level. Uh, we sold all the way down last night to about 1930. And then we rallied back to the 1947 level. Now, if this market is really good, and if this market is really good, it's going to get above 1968. And then we've got a chance, you know, for it to go uh, a little bit higher. But uh, frankly, uh, it looks like it could be uh, on uh, borrowed time without uh, too much uh, trouble, in my opinion. If we take a look, uh, also, we're going to look at one other one here. In fact, we're going to look at several because I wanted to, to give you an idea of some of the things that uh, we're keeping an eye on. The next one we're going to look at, of course, is the, uh, the Dow Jones E-mini. And I want to let you see what that is doing because it's doing the same type of a uh, of a move that we're having. See, all of these are doing ABCD moves, folks. And this is an ABCD Gartley uh, that's coming in at the 50% retracement of the high uh, uh, from uh, uh, last May, which is also uh, another amazing spot. They all hit 50%, every single index. Uh, it was just amazing. 877-927-6640. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed 
Swift has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Okay, folks, we're back, and I've posted the chart of the Dow Jones Utilities, uh, the daily uh, chart. You can see the, the wide-ranging bar to the downside that we had in the utilities. If you looked at this uh, on a weekly basis, uh, you're going to see a market that is in real trouble uh, because this has also made a Gartley uh, pattern on Friday. Uh, frankly, I have not seen the market hit so many numbers well i have to but i can't remember all of them but it was very unusual that you they all came together you know at the same time on friday when we were having that expanding triangle pattern so uh, it looks just very very interesting uh, also remember we had arch crawford on the show friday and he was talking about china and uh, sure enough you know china was down a little bit and then hong kong was down uh, even a little bit more uh, so it was amazing that we had that, uh, you know, pretty much going on uh, at that point. So we'll see uh, if that's uh, if that's going to be the case. However, uh, as it be as it may, we still have a possibility that the market still could be bullish, and that lies in the fact that we have the New York Stock Exchange Index has the potential of making an ABCD pattern up about another four or five percent. I don't believe that's going to happen and the reason for that is is that we've had some time to get up here. Uh, the thing that's outstanding that makes me think that we could still get there possibly is the fact that a week from today, uh, well, actually a week from tomorrow, we're going to have the uh, solar eclipse and new moon and that's that's a big one. Uh, that's going to be a real interesting one to look at so we've got to keep that in mind but there's also a potential that that could be to the downside. And if we're weak this week, which we're starting out, of course, a uh, week on Monday, and that means we could have a situation where we could, you know, go right down into that, then that would be the one that would be a, be a pretty good tradable bottom from that point. 
But the fact that we've made the ABCD pattern in the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, well, the NASDAQ didn't do it, the Dow Jones, the S&P, New York Stock Exchange Index, uh, all of these uh, have made the beautiful ABCD patterns after uh, five weeks of making a bottom. Uh, now, the IWM, the small cap, of course, is far, far weaker. I mean, I mean, not far, far weaker. I mean, far, far weaker. I mean, this thing can't even get out of its own way. Uh, and as you can see here, we did have a little bit of a rally last week, but frankly, there's there's no ABCD structure uh, in this at all. If anything, it would be a uh, potential for a uh, r r expanding triangle type pattern. So we'll just, uh, you know, I, I don't trade the IWM, but, you know, I watch it because it's traded by quite a few people, and I would like to see what's going on. I've been a, a requested to uh, talk a little bit about a shooting star pattern. Uh, you know, the one you should ask, uh, Mr. Peak, is to ask uh, um, uh, Steve Rhodes. Uh, he's really good with candles, as is uh, Basil Chapman. But the, the shooting star pattern is one where uh, the market goes way up and then it closes down into the lower uh, 10 to 15 percent of the range. And the opposite of the shooting star pattern is the hammer. In other words, you hammer out a bottom or you shoot a star, you know, and you the star falls. So that's where it, uh, you know, usually happens. Now, what I'll do here is since we have a couple of these really good examples here uh, on the treasury bonds, I'll put up that treasury bond chart. And you can see back on August the 24th, we had a shooting star pattern where the market was way up and then closed in the lower part of the range. And then we had the same thing on February the uh, 11th, where the market closed way up and then closed in the lower part of the range. So that's that's what it looks like. Now, what's interesting is, is if you'll, if you'll look at these shooting star patterns in conjunction uh, to the patterns, uh, shoot, if you look at the shooting star candles along with the patterns that we look at in the ratios, you'll notice that that first shooting star on the Treasury bonds came in at the exact 786 level from the April high, and the other shooting star on February the 11th came in at a 1.618 expansion of that first shooting star back in August, so uh, April. So that's, let's try August again. Yeah, it's August. So that's what uh, shooting stars are good for, is that they help give you some confirmation that, yep, that's it. Boy, when, when markets go beyond those shooting stars after making a shooting star pattern and then reverse, oh, for heaven's sakes, don't be, don't stand in front of that puppy. That's like trying to catch a falling knife. And as we know, it's much better to let that knife land on the uh, uh, floor, and then you can pick it up and do your cutting and slicing so you don't have to wait. Wait for the safe to fall from the sky, break open on the sidewalk, and pick up the cash. That's the easiest way to do it. Unfortunately, some of us like to be uh, very, very uh, tricky, supposedly, and try to pick these tops and bottoms. And you can do it if you use butterflies and three drive to a top patterns. Those are pretty good. But, uh, you know, they're, they're like anything else. Sometimes, you know, they fail. And when they do, uh oh and when they do, then you know you have some, uh, you know, real serious uh, problems going on. Now, we're going to take a look at one of those potential uh, patterns happening right now in a three-drive pattern, and that is in the um, Canadian dollar. And this is a four-hour chart that gives you, uh, you know, quite a bit of uh, room here. Now we're looking. Uh, the Canadian dollar is weakening, um, strengthening again, weakening again. Let's try it again. And as you can see, we are coming down uh, to the um, the 134 level in the Canadian versus the U.S. dollar. Uh, that means that the Canadian is selling is around 63 cents on the dollar versus the U.S. dollar, and we should get to that level. Uh, and the reason why is that we're below the 61% retrace, below the 1.27 um, swing, and we are just a another uh, 100 pips away from the 1.618 swing, and that's what it looks like. Now, there's a big vote coming up, I guess, pretty soon in um, the UK about um, you know whether they're going to stay in the eurozone or not. Uh, if I had to make a bet, which I don't bet, and that, that I would say that uh, we were pr they're probably going to stay uh, in the eurozone because the risk of them getting out of it uh, for the rest of Europe is, uh, 
is pretty nasty, I would think. But we'll see if uh, if that's going to be uh, the case or not. But there again, folks, you start listening to that stuff, like with uh, things with Greece or whatever it is, uh, it doesn't make any difference. It's one after another, Greece or China, United States, you know, the U.K., it's all cannon fodder because uh, the only thing that matters for, from my perspective, and believe me, there's a lot of ways to skin a cat, but boy, I, I just don't understand the fundamental stuff that these people try to, to give us, the convexity of negative interest rate. What are they talking about? Hello? Give me a break. Uh, all I look at is the charts. If prices are going up, there's more buying. If prices are going down, there's more selling. That's all you have to worry about. And remember that people always don't tell you what they're doing. Today uh, on uh, CNBC, they have Warren Buffett for three hours. Now, here's a guy that's worth billions of dollars. He's probably one of the most successful people uh, in the world. He's been bullish since he started back in the uh, late 60s, uh, the biggest bear market we had when we lasted three years. So anyway, he's fabulous. But I want to tell you a little bit about Warren Buffett from what I know. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavento for TFNN, and we're going to take a look now at the Treasury bond market, looking at it on an hourly basis, which lets us go back about three and a half weeks. As you can see, we've had some really nice ABCD patterns uh, on this uh, particular vehicle. And, and remember, the ABCD pattern is the standard by which we build all the other patterns because that's really what the market does all day long it either goes up down or sideways and it does it in that a b c d structure the problem is folks that it a b c d is not perfect it's only perfect probably about forty percent of the time the other percent the c d leg will be a one point two seven or it could also be a 1.618 of the AB leg, and that's where people get into trouble looking at it. But there's some keys to telling you whether the CD leg is going to expand or not. The first one is, how does it come out of point C? If it comes out of point C very slowly and doesn't move very much, the chances are that the AB will equal CD. But if point C comes out of there with a lot of oomph and volume and power, in a long-ranging bar, uh, you can be assured that it's going to be a 1.27 or a 1.618 of the AB leg. And the stronger that it is coming out of point C, the more powerful it could be. Because if it comes out of there really, really fast, it could be two times the AB, three times the AB, four times the AB. We've seen this happen, you know, with uh, with Tom O'Brien with the King Dollar when he was uh, looking at it down around 75. And I think it was even lower than that. But, you know, all the ABCDs were just expanding, blowing through everything. And that was telling you the market was... Uh, you know, going a lot higher. Now, we don't have that right now in this 60 minute chart on the T bonds. We have a very symmetrical ABCD pattern. As you can see, we have uh, three higher bottoms starting on the 17th of February. So there's a great deal of support down at the 165 level uh, in the bonds. And uh, if that's the case, uh, the bond should rally, which means the risk would be on again, and uh, people would not want to be, you know, buying stocks. So we'll wait. We'll wait and see. Now, getting back to Mr. Buffett on the show uh, today for CNBC, he was talking about his investment strategies, and you cannot knock the greatest investor uh, nearly of all time because his 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 track record uh, speaks for himself. But but he's not a trader; he's an investor. But he moves out of positions a lot, and they use the they use the news just like everybody else i remember very vividly and i i kept a record of this and i have it on the computer of what happened in 1997 when he was long silver he came on cnbc and he said that uh, he basically owned 25 percent of all the above ground silver and I knew that figure couldn't be possibly right, but that's what he said. And the next day to day and a half, silver went nuts. It, and it was trading at around between 14 and a half to 15 and went all the way up to around 17. It, dropped, it went about $2 an ounce. And of course, it was coming from, you know, $4 and change. So it had a heck of a heck of a run. And yet when uh, when the Berkshire Hathaway report came out uh, a month later, a month and a half later, there was no silver in the portfolio at all. And his comment was they had sold it. And you'll never guess probably when they sold it. Well, it was probably during that time that it was running up because, you know, he uh, he likes to buy when there's blood in the streets. So he wants to sell them when they're crying and buy them when they're yelling. So that's uh, just the opposite. You want to sell them when they're yelling and buy them when they're crying. But uh, that's what you have to do is to use that. George Soros is the master of it. And, of course, uh, Jimmy Rogers used that same tactic, as did Stanley Druckermiller. I mean, that's just normal. When you get to be that big, you have to have some liquidity to get in and out of your, you know, out of your position. So nothing's better than to say the opposite of what you want to do because uh, that's the uh, – that's the best way to do it. If you've ever seen the tape, The Trader, from uh, Paul Tudor Jones from back in 1986, he, he uses that tactic, uh, you know, quite a bit. Uh, so that's only if you get to be a, to a really large size, and uh, you know not many of us ever get to that uh, get to that size. So that's what we're watching uh, in the Treasury bonds. So we want to keep a, a close eye on that. 
Now, we're going to have Rich Anderson uh, on the line here tomorrow, uh, but I do want to mention that we've got to get our microscopes out, folks, because we have a potential now of uh, a real nice uh, cycle coming in here uh, in the corn. Uh, as you can see, going back the last year and a half, uh, we've had a, a very, very symmetrical market where we had the ABCD move. Uh, we were fortunate enough to be in uh, that big run in June of last year, uh, primarily in soybeans. Uh, we really weren't recommending corn, but we were certainly recommending the soybeans. And uh, they had a huge move also. And what we're looking at now is uh, we're having a potential uh, Gartley forming here in the next uh, few days. My guess, uh, this will be next week because the grains really respond well to the lunar phenomenon. And we have that new moon and solar eclipse coming in on March 8th. So that's the time I would like to be watching uh, to, buy the, uh, to buy corn. Uh, I'd like to see it down around about another 12 to 15 cents lower than where it is right now, that would be ideal. I'd like to see him clean out the stops of the year down in there at the uh, 349, 347 level uh, in the corn, and then we will look to be, uh, certainly look to be a buyer because that would be uh, at pattern completion, and that's what we would, uh, that's what we'd like to see. So this is something on our watch list. I just, you know, bringing it to your attention because several people have asked about it, but we do want to watch it, uh, you know, very, very closely. Okay, now we want to switch our, we're going to go to the bank now, and we're going to go to uh, talk about uh, the money in the uh, euro and the, the foreign currency markets. And uh, what we're going to be looking at here is something that we've been uh, waiting to see happen, and we're not, var, we're not very far away from the, uh, the target of the uh, euro that we've been waiting to see. Now, if you'll notice this chart on the euro, it goes back uh, well over a year. Oh, no, it doesn't. It only goes back nine months. But if you'll see the bottom that we made, we made that three drive to a bottom. And then, of course, we had the uh, Federal Reserve meeting. That's what caused the huge jump. Then we had the Gartley pullback after that, which was the easy one to buy. And then the market rallied up and made a large ABCD pattern up to 113 and change level. And now we've been coming down, and we've got two major numbers uh, that are going to be very important, and we're not very far away. We're only about 25 pips away from these numbers. Uh, that's around the 10850 level in the euro versus the U.S. dollar. We're going to have a 78% retracement of the January low, and we're going to have a 61% retracement of the December low. So we've got two major lows uh, coming in at that spot. Uh, the market's been down for three weeks. So it's certainly uh, capable of, uh, you know, going down there uh, to see it. We'd also be, boy, Dr. Scott, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you on the payroll, buddy. I, I, <laughs> I get a Skype message from our, one of our listeners who happens to be a good friend, uh, Dr. Scott, uh, up in uh, uh, Clearwater. And uh, anyway, 877-927-6648. I'll cover this 135 pattern when we get back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. 
It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, sponsored by Nadex. Up next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're going to take a quick look here at this euro pattern because uh, we're going to have a, a 135 higher bottom pattern here in the euro. Uh, at the 1850 level, um, you know, it doesn't have an ABC structure from uh, the move down in February. It's been, you know, pretty much a straight down move. Uh, but we're going to run into some really strong support here. Uh, but, folks, if this support does not uh, hold, look out because um, we could be looking at a big ABCD structure that's going to take us to par, and that's what we've been waiting for for a very long time, somewhere between 99 and 100. Uh, Dr. Martin Armstrong from um, Martin Armstrong uh, uh, Economics has been talking about a sharp move down in the euro into March 13th, which uh, is, certainly, uh, is certainly going down, but uh, we should have a little bit of a bounce here at the 108.50 level, uh, and then we'll see what happens. But the market is very, very bearish. We've had lower tops for a long time. So anytime you get a good rally, which to me is more than 150 pips uh, in the euro, I would certainly look for a place to sell. Not just blindly sell a 150 pip rally, but you know, look for the pattern within that and what the ratios are doing. And as I've mentioned many times before, to me, the ratios you know, are more important than the patterns. Uh, you know, the ratio is really, you know, the mathematics behind it. The pattern is ge the geometry. You like to see them both together, but when in doubt, stick with the ratios. Uh, those are the ones that I believe will help you quantify the risk the best, and it'll give you a better chance at uh, picking out, you know, what uh, you really need to uh, be looking at. Um, we've got about 15 minutes to go. Well, well not quite that much. But uh, the main thing today, uh, in fact, all this week, is the fact that we hit all of those numbers in the indices, the transportations, the um, utilities, the Dow Jones, the S&P cash, the S&P futures, the Dow Jones futures, the Dow Jones cash. All of those hit perfect Fibonacci numbers on Friday. And when we had that um, really uh, big, I'm going to put it up here again because it was so uh, spectacular, was this uh, uh, reverse point wave where you have the one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle, which makes that a three drive to a top pattern uh, coming in, uh, you know, spot on at the uh, ratio exactly. Uh, the ABCD fitting perfectly, so uh, that technically is telling you that you've got to be able to uh, be a little cautious here 
in uh, you know buying stocks. Now we were really sharply lower this morning. We were down about 100 uh, in the Dow. We came back to be uh, up on the day. Uh, whether we're going to get much of a, a bounce from here or not, you know, I'm not sure, but we want to wait and see. Regarding the gold market, now we, we did have an $11 sell-off after we hit that 786 this morning, and we're now approaching the possible breakout here uh, in gold. If we get above the uh, 1239 level, uh, that would tell us we could probably uh, go a little bit higher. But th frankly, folks, the, the markets are... Uh, they're they're actually bouncing off of these uh, numbers in the bonds, and also in the gold. And remember, <clears throat> the bond market is many, 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 many times bigger uh, than the gold market. So if you're looking for a market to uh, you know to give you a, a proxy vote on what stocks are going to do, watch the bond market because that's where the real cash is. Uh, you know, there's money over in the gold market, but not like there is in the bond market. That bond market is. Uh, thousands of times, well, not a thousand times, but quite a bit bigger, many, many times bigger uh, than the stock market, that debt market, both bonds and notes. And of course, no notes are the biggest of all of the uh, commodities uh, that we trade. And that also has a potential to uh, you know, hold up. Now, we've held the trend line to the downside today. Uh, the low so far in bonds has been uh, 165.17. That's where that line that we posted uh, earlier this morning came in at and it held it uh, you know rather nicely I'll put that in here to let you folks uh, say oh that won't show it because that's the daily and I'm doing it on a four hour chart just to show you that uh, you can actually see it but doggone it let me see what if I did it ah there we go I had it here I knew I did and you'll see that that's where this uh, line came in this morning was right up against that and that happened to be a 78 percent retracement of the low that we made back on the 7th uh, 27th of February now if we get below that low then you're looking at a market that could go a great deal uh, lower but we'll wait and see right now there's just the market's actually very quiet I mean given the fact that you know we've been down two and a half percent in Hong Kong we were down three percent in China and uh, so it's uh, you know it has a little bearish tone to it but not nothing to uh, of any great magnitude but uh, the fact is that we hit uh, we hit all that stuff on Friday boy you have to have to pay a lot of attention to that because you just don't see them all coming together uh, at the same time and then showing the price action that is uh, verifying it you know and that's the the other key that you have, you do have verification that the market sold off well over 150 points in the Dow after that top was made, and uh, that's not a very good sign. And the utilities stock index, uh, when you look at that weekly chart, oh my goodness, they got a shooting star there that makes it look like the uh, Challenger missile from uh, 1985 on in January that year when the missile unfortunately uh, blew up and we lost many of our great uh, astronauts uh, actually two of them were actually from the University of Arizona okay now I have another question about the candlestick patterns and I frankly I like to defer any questions that you have is to please ask Steve Rhodes uh, I respect Steve's work uh, as much as anyone as anyone's and also Basil Basil does incredible work on uh, on uh, you know candlestick patterns I happen to know Steve Neeson uh, he's an acquaintance he, he's not a friend but I've had dinner with him a few times uh, the only reason I use candlesticks folks is because of my old age eyes I can count the bars real easy with candlesticks whether if I use a regular bar chart you know the lines sometimes they look a little blurred and it's not as easy to see whereas in the candlesticks they're colored they're wider you can make them any width you like and they're very easy to count because I'm watching for you know markets that have equal moves you know eight bars up eight bars down you know that type of thing so that's what I'd really like to uh, if you have questions on the uh, candlesticks uh, fortunately we have a really good lineup of people here uh, in uh, at TFNN that will uh, will will do that, and I know those gentlemen will be able to uh, answer those questions for you. Uh, I use a little simple booklet that was uh, printed in uh, 1970 by the Commodity Research Bureau. Uh, it's called uh, Profits from Japanese Stand Candlesticks. This was uh, Steve Neeson was still in college when this uh, when this pamphlet was printed, and it basically shows you know, the 12 major candlestick patterns 
uh, that they look at. You know, the two black crows, the engulfing lines, the hammers, uh, hanging man. They're, those are the ones that are there. But they are very good because they do give you an idea of what the market's doing. And the good part about the candles is they highlight what the opening price is. And the opening price, I think, is, uh, you know, something that is, uh, you know, very, very important. Uh, to look at so we're watching these things now we do have a non-farm payroll on Friday I know it's a long way out there but uh, we it's coming in at this cycle time so we want to pay good attention to it Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we're going to take a look here at the uh, British Pound. Uh, the first chart that we're going to look at is the uh, long-term chart going back to 1985 when we had the Plaza Accord at the Plaza Hotel in New York. And that's where the the 4X boys were doing their uh, shenanigans. By the way, my good friend Byron Tucker 
uh, was elbow to elbow with all these dudes this past weekend at their big meeting, and we were chatting several times. <laughs> and the most amazing thing that Byron told me through the meeting, he said that all of these guys are on a first name basis, and they know the wives and the children. He said it's like a fraternity house uh, when they have these meetings of these central bank people. So uh, we know how that works. We'll have to wait and see how it ends up, but we'll we'll wait and see what happens. We do have some support coming here uh, in the British pound, somewhere between the 138 and the 135 level uh, in the pound. So this will probably be uh, up in the air until they decided to uh, go with the um, uh, whether they're going to Brexit or Stegsit or whatever we're going to call it then, uh, whether they stay or not, we'll be wait and see. But remember the the UK folks. Uh, you know, they've been around for a very long time, and they like to dance to their own drummer. So they don't necessarily uh, worry about the rest of the union if they want to get out of it. So that's going to be a very close vote, I would think. But we'll, we'll let, uh, let us wait and see what happens. Um, the, key, the key thing to remember here is, folks, if we take out that high at 1968 in the S&P, uh, we're going to go higher, um, probably right into that March uh, 8th level. And that would be where I think we'll have a big top. But we hit so many numbers on Friday, I don't believe we're going to be able to do that. But remember that uh, I'm wrong a lot, and I'm right occasionally. But, uh, you know, we want to be able to tell you when I'm wrong. And if we get above that uh, 1968 level, I would certainly not want to uh, be short. I would rather, you know, wait for an area of around 2030 if we get you know, another 50 handles higher if uh, we came to that. But that's either here or there. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.